What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Elite 2.0 Commander. This blaster is a six shot front loading top prime spring blaster, essentially the replacement to the Spectre. Let's get into it. Included is the blaster and darts. External overview of the Commander starting up at the front. There is an in-strike barrel lug, so you can put on a barrel attachment if you'd like to. Above the barrel lug is an in-strike tactical rail right here. And below that is the cylinder. This is a six round blaster. The cylinder does not pop out of the blaster like the Spectre or Strongarm or Maverick. It is fixed in place, but it has two available barrels on each side for reloads. It is a little slower to reload this way as opposed to having it pop out, but it's less moving parts, so I think it's a little cheaper. And that cylinder again holds six darts, which is more than the Spectre's five. And below the cylinder is a front sling mount right here. And down below we have an strike tactical rail and we have another in strike tactical rail down here elite 2.0 holy tactics what you're going to put under there i don't know but you can mount whatever you want down there that's pretty cool up top is the priming handle this is a spring powered blaster to prime and pull back and let go it does have a spring return the prime stroke is pretty smooth and the power required to prime is in line with other elite blasters on the market right now i previously complained about the echo's priming handle being kind of difficult to grip because it was pretty small that's not the case with the commander it has a nice high groove in the back which you can run your hand into making priming much easier i could slam fire this repeatedly and my sweaty palms weren't an issue at all with this blaster. Moving on to the trigger, the trigger release is pretty standard. This blaster does have slam fire, which means you can hold down the trigger and when the priming handle hits the rear position, it automatically fires, increasing rate of fire, sacrificing accuracy a little bit. Now down to the grip. Mostly this grip is in line with the other Elite 2.0 grips that I've handled. However, it is on the slightly smaller side and this trapping the bottom of your hand makes it feel a little tight. I have big hands, so I complain about grips. I think this grip will be just fine for the vast majority of nerfers. Some people might not like it. I think most people will be just fine on this grip. And down below, again, we have an in-strike tactical rail. But I seriously don't know what you're going to put down there, but you can put anything down there. That's the point. And moving back, we have a stock attachment point. So if you want to fix your favorite stock, you totally can. This blaster does not include a stock or a barrel. It just has the capability of attaching what you already own. That is an external overview of the Elite 2.0 Commander. Let's see it fire. Shooting blue Nerf Elite darts. using slam fire by holding down the trigger. Operating the Commander was pretty fun. It operated as expected. I did not experience any jams or malfunctions with this blaster. And I even thrashed the slam fire repeatedly and I couldn't get it to miss feed. So overall, pretty good performance. To compare to other blasters, I put the Commander up in my chronograph and I achieved an average velocity of 76 feet per second shooting Nerf Elite darts, which is a little over the 70 FPS par that we should expect out of most Nerf blasters on the market right now. Six FPS isn't enough to totally outgun somebody, but you'd prefer that number to be higher rather than lower. So overall, pretty solid performance out of the Commander. That's the objective information I can provide on this blaster, now to my personal opinion. Comparing the Commander to the Spectre, I think the Commander is a great upgrade over the old blaster. More tactical rails, you have a six round cylinder instead of five, and overall holding this blaster and operating, it's a little better than the Spectre. It just operated smoothly, the slam fire operates smoothly. I think this offers everything that the Spectre offers plus more. More being primarily tactics, but you can't underrate the tactics bros. So to buy or not to buy, honestly this blaster falls into a weird category. It's a little bit too big to run as a traditional sidearm. If you're set on holstering your pistol, a strong arm or a disruptor will be a little bit sleeker and easier to holster and unholster. And if you're looking for a primary, an Echo Delta Trooper Retaliator might be a better option with the detachable box magazines. Having a fixed in place six round cylinder that you can't quick switch really limits the potential of this in an actual battle. But the Commander appeals to a similar audience as the Spectre did. I don't think that's a war practical blaster, but it's still a fun blaster to use. So it's not really up my alley. I won't personally be using this, but I think it does a good job at what it's doing. There's no objective reason to avoid purchasing this blaster. It just doesn't fit my personal play style. But it might fit yours. And if you'd like to buy one, I'll put a purchase link in the description box below. That's it for this video review of the Nerf Elite 2.0 Commander. Thanks so much for watching, bros. And as always, stay tactical.